Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 3rd of December. I'm James Spann. Man, it feels good if you like warm weather, but evidence of a pattern change coming up at mid-month, so don't get used to it. It is brutally cold up north, as you'll see. But let's look at some of the Skycam images. We'll celebrate a very comfortable early December day in Alabama. That's coming from Trustful. The uh, sky came there on Chalkville Mountain Road, uh, broken clouds in place. Uh, Birmingham uh, so far peaking at 71. That's within five of the record high today. Actually, a little below forecast levels. We thought we'd be about 74 today. That's coming from Chihaw State Park on the eastern side of the state and over in West Alabama, a very similar sky. That is coming from the uh, sky cam on top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Pretty good looking wave, but the bulk of the energy, as you can see, will be way north of here on the Canadian border. That's the one that brought all the rain to California and Oregon the uh, last few days. And that's going to drive a cold front through here uh, by early Wednesday morning. But I don't think it rains a lot with that front. Hey, hey, how about 79 in Montgomery at 2 o'clock? You kidding me? Tuscaloosa 75, Birmingham 71. And 73 for Anniston and Gadsden. The average high today is 59, and we're flirting with records. And around the region, 70s everywhere. Little Rock at 76. Uh, New Orleans at 79. But don't get used to it. you got to look at the big picture sometimes. Look at Kansas City at 72, but brutally cold air covers much of Alaska in the western half of Canada. Right now, mid-afternoon, 44 below zero in Eagle, Alaska. An air like that's got to move, and it looks like it might make the move in about 6 to 10 days. So evidence we could turn sharply colder later this month, and we'll dig a little deeper here in just a bit. Uh, watch warning map, amazingly quiet over much of the continental United States, and there's the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half inch. And again, I'm not convinced we get that much uh, late tomorrow night, early Wednesday. Maybe a few folks, but not a lot. We'll take a look. This is the, oh, I'm sorry, the 12Z GFS, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. And you can see the troughing action to the west, also very strong troughing up north. But that southern stream will help to uh, bring up showers over Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana during the day. The day should be dry. Those showers easing in here tomorrow night, especially late tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, this is at noon. The front is just kind of creeping through here. It's not going to have a tremendous amount of southward push. So uh, the showers could linger into much of the day Wednesday. We might remove the morning wording in the forecast if this trend keeps up. Well, temperatures back off a little bit, but not much. Uh, the bulk of the cold air stays way north of here. That'll put highs back in the middle 60s. Thursday, we should be mostly dry. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny. The uh, GFS is showing 66. And Friday, moisture tries to ease in from the south. Uh, but I, again, there's just not much of a trigger for rain here. So you might consider a slight chance of a shower over the western side of the state Friday. For now, it looks awfully small. Uh, the high again in the middle 60s with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. All right, everybody's asking about the weekend. Here you go. Saturday, it's going to be pretty mild. How about 72? It'll be just like today. And again, you can see how there could be a shower over North Alabama somewhere, but I think from Birmingham south and east will be dry. The better chance of showers over Tennessee uh, with a front that's just going to stall out north of here. And then Sunday, that front begins to lift northward as a warm front in response to a deep surface low developing near Denver. That's going to produce some big snows out in the uh, Rockies. So I think Sunday will be just mild and dry with low to mid-70s, kind of breezy out of the south, uh, uh, no rain, partly sunny. And uh, there's a week from today. This is Monday, December 10th. Look at the trough coming into West Texas. Whoa. Uh, down below that, a surface low near Dallas-Fort Worth, chance of snow for the Texas Panhandle, where they're basking in record warmth today. And again, this is suggesting a batch of showers along the front. And then this is a week from tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday the 11th, and uh, this has got the showers kind of exiting the state. So again, uh, 
Uh, it looks like uh, maybe Monday night or early Tuesday of next week, a round of showers and storms, and they could pack a punch. We'll just kind of wait and see how the severe weather parameters set up. And then uh, this is 12-12-12, uh, the middle part of next week, and that looks uh, just cool and dry. But here comes a pattern change we're talking about, December 18th. Whoa, Nelly. Look at the trough over the east. Now, there's not a really huge ridge pumping up over the western part of the continent, but keep in mind, it's not got to go very far to tap into cold air. And look at that, the 540 line uh, way down into South Alabama. Very cold, if this is right. Major snows for Pennsylvania, New York. Uh, and again, there's a look at the anomalies, temperature anomalies on uh, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, December 18th. And uh, look at the anomalies up in Canada. I mean, it's off the chart up there like 40 below average Fahrenheit. Uh, goodness, and down here, that would be pretty cold. So uh, clearly, there's a good chance this uh, record warrant will come to a screeching halt here at some point in the not-too-distant future. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Don't forget Weather Brains tonight at 8.30, live.bigbrainsmedia.com. Have a great evening and God bless.